Alright, I'm sorry I'm late, but I'm gonna do it anyway. It looks like it's like 20 minutes to 1. Let's look on here. It's 12.46. But I'm going to go ahead and do 14 because I'm tired. And we'll do the best we can. Alright. We're on 1 Kings chapter 14. At that time, a died Jew, the son of Jeroboam, fell sick. <clears throat> and Jeroboam said, to his wife, Arise, I pray thee, <clears throat> disguise thyself, that thou be not known to be the wife of Jeroboam, and get thee to Shiloh. Behold, there is a high you, the prophet, which told me that I should be king over this people, and take with thee ten loaves and crack canals and a course of honey and go to him <clears throat> he shall tell thee what shall become of the child and Joel Boehm's wife did so and arose and went to Shiloh and came to the house of Ahio and Ahio could not see for his eyes were set by reason of his age and the Lord said unto Ahio <clears throat> the, behold, the wife of Jeroboam coming to ask a thing of thee for her son, for he is sick. Thus and thus shalt thou say unto her, for it shall be when she cometh in that she shall form, form herself to be another woman. And it was so that Agena heard the sound of her feet as she came to in at the door <clears throat> that he came in come in thy wife of Jeroboam thou forged thyself to be another for I am sent to thee with heavy tidings go tell Jeroboam thus saith the Lord of God of Israel for as much as I exalt thee from among the people and made thee prince over all my people Israel, <clears throat> and rent the kingdom away from the house of David, and gave it to thee. And yet thou hast not been in my servant David, <clears throat> who kept my commandments, and who followed me with all his heart, and to do that only which was right in my eyes. But he has done evil, above all that were before thee. For thou hast gone and made thee other gods and molten images to provoke me to anger, and hast cast me behind thy back. Therefore, behold, I will bring evil upon the house of Jeroboam, and will cut off from Jeroboam him that pisses against the wall, and him that is shut up and left in Israel, and will take away the raiment of the house of Jeroboam, as a man taketh away dung, till it be all gone. Him that dieth of Jeroboam in the city shall dogs eat, and him that dieth in the field shall the fowls of the air eat, for the Lord hath spoken him. Arise thou, therefore, get thee to thine own house, and when thy feet enter into the city, the child shall die. And all of Israel shall mourn for him and bury him. For he only of Jeroboam shall come to the grave, because in him there is found some good things towards the Lord God of Israel in the house of Jeroboam. Moreover, the Lord shall raise him up a king over Israel, who shall cut off the house of Jeroboam that day. But what? Even now, <clears throat> for the Lord shall smite Israel as a reed is stricken in, in the water, and he shall root up Israel out of this good land which he gave to their fathers, and shall scatter them beyond the river, because they have made their groves, provoking the Lord to anger. And he shall give Israel up because of the sin of Jeroboam, 
who did sin, and who made Israel to sin. And Jeroboam's wife arose and departed and came to Torah. And when she came to the thresh, threshold of the door, the child died. And they buried him, <clears throat> and all of Israel mourned for him, according to the word of the Lord, which he spoke by the hand of his servant Elijah the prophet, and the rest of the acts of Jeroboam. Now he warned and warred and how he reigned. Behold, they are not written in the book of the Chronicles of the king of Israel. And the days which Jeroboam reigned were two and twenty years, and he slept with his fathers. And Nahab his son reigned in his stead. And Rehoboam the son of Solomon reigned in Judah. Rehoboam was forty and one years old when he began to reign. And he reigned seventeen years in Jerusalem, the city which the Lord did choose out of all the tribes of Israel to put his name there. And his mother's name was Neha and Anamite. And Judah did evil in the sight of the Lord, and they provoked him to jealousy with their sins, which they had committed above all their fathers had done. For they also built them high places and images and grove and every high hill under every green tree. And there was also Sodomites in the land that they did according to all the abominations of the nation which the Lord cast out before the children of Israel. And it came to pass in the fifth year of King Rehoboam that Shizaka king of Egypt came up against Jerusalem <clears throat> and he took away the treasures of the house of the Lord and the treasures of the king's house he even took away all and he took away all the shields of gold which Solomon had made and King Rehoboam made in their stead basin shields and committed them into the hands of the chief of the guard which kept the doors of the king's house. And it was so, when the king went to the house of the Lord, that the guard bore them, and brought them back into the, guard, the guard's chamber. Now the rest of the acts of Rehoboam, and all that he did, are they not written in the books of Chronicles of the kings of Judah? And there was war between Rehoboam and Jeroboam all their day. And Rehoboam slept with his father and was buried with his father in the city of David. And his mother's name was Namaha, uh, I'm, I'm bitchering him, and Anamite, and Bahajin, the son, reigned in his stead. Alright, now we're on 14, I meant 15, and we'll do it tomorrow night. It's going to be a short one. I'm tired. I love you guys. Good night.